Put the towel, this one's on. He's a nice fish, that one. Yeah, that's alright if they can tap them. The fish get bigger now. We can easily up them. Yeah. I'm fishing with Dale. It's the first day out of lockdown. You couldn't get out of the creek. They just dredged it and maybe all that wind stuffed it up. But So we've relaunched at Oliver's Hill and we're going to head south. scan to find the weed patch. So we'll put it on 25 meters. Should be good. Drop the speed back a bit. The water's pretty dirty so it's hard to see the sand patches so I'm just gonna use my side scan to find the sand patch. And we'll just go back this one. You see heavy weed there. We want to catch some whiting today. And we'll see. We'll see right here. Right here. Yeah, right here. I reckon. See, look at this sand patch. See how it's all, and then there's a good sand patch. So you can see the weed, and then you can see the sand. It's pretty easy. <laughs> it can be a bit funny at the start of the tide just tap away tip tap oh there we go <sighs> no that didn't tap away is that recording oh, a... <sighs> a bit of a tip tap yeah. There, there's a lot of yakkers and other down there as well, like there will be. I think it pays just to freshen you up your bait every now and again. That's had a few chumps. We want to be about six or seven metres behind the boat. Dale's just giving the burly pot a bit of a shake. And the rigs we're using get down to the bottom. as where the paternosters get off the bottom and they tend to catch more yakkers, don't they? He's on. What happened? Oh. He's still there? Oh, he shouldn't have struck at it. Yeah. There's a lot of small stuff down there, which can... He's got to be on. Let's give it a bit of a lift, though. Leather jackets, see, if you look at the bait, the leather jackets have got really small mouths, so you'll think you're getting a white... See, that's a leather jacket. It's been... It's got teethy bites through the bait. Three casts this. And this guy, there we go, we got that one. You got one on there. Yeah, I'm and just take your time with them. They, they pull really hard. And he swallowed that right down. They're just starting to come on now. The start tide's starting to move. Really starting to kick in a bit, probably. Yeah. Same spot. It's always good to have a rag handy with whining because they're really gross. And if you're on a good whining patch, sometimes you'll just pays to just stay on the, when it goes a bit quiet, just give it another 10, 15 minutes because they can come back through just to cast you, keep checking your baits. 
and cast it around because if you cast into weed and you don't know you sit there and catch nothing so every couple of minutes if you don't get a bite just recast them because it can help get into a bit of sand yeah, got him I lured him into that one Dale that's a warning yeah, yeah. just lured him in lured him in yeah it's only a just a little squid square that's what we like don't we there's not much dangling off for him to miss the hook back out where we getting them There's something good about fishing out here in winter, I reckon. It's peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it's peaceful. Especially in like on the afternoon on a weekend and you, the tide starts about two o'clock and then you're heading home in the dark. And you're not up, you don't have to get up. Yeah, it's awesome. I've got a bite on that rod there. Yeah, and you get glass calm waters. It's two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and it's good fun catching water, not? And they taste nice. Here we go. Get a few now. So you like to um, tenderise your squid? Squid? Yeah, most people like to no, do tenderise your squid. I I've never done it. But, oh, that rod over there. I'm going to catch this sucker like that. Right, just lay into the sucker like that, darling. Yeah, yeah, got him. Just let him, just let him set his own. <laughs> I just, I just let him set his own bloody. Uh... Yeah. Well, that's what they should do, bro. Look, he's got it right down. Cause it's bad luck on my boat. Have you eaten your banana? Good. There's a rig over and over. Nah, ting and oster. There's a fish. Oh, there we go. As soon as these clouds come over, they're starting to bite a bit better. I reckon. You reckon, Dale? Yeah, right, and a bit of wind. Bit of wind, bit of... He's coming right. Get his head out. Taking a star. Cast him straight back to where I caught that one. What the old hands. Still got the bait. Got him. Got him out. See so what we've got here is we've got weed all here and the sand hole's about eight meters back and we're fishing the edge of the sand hole. Coming out of the weed just yeah, that's right. Straight out of the And if you don't get it spot on, you don't get the bite. It's hard to, you might have to anchor four or five times to get it right. And then you've got to cast right to that edge. Got him? Which is right out the back there. I should get a bite straight away. This one hasn't had a bite for a while, so I'll just recast it. Got him. Good yeah. work on the Ting and Oster Dale. Yeah. Took a bit of convincing. I did. I've convinced Dale to go to the Ting and Oster. No, the fucking fish took a bit of convincing to get on there. Yeah, but you took a bit of convincing. You've had a bit of bad luck, and as soon as you put the Ting and Oster on. Yeah, the Ting is going good. 
Keep it going. You don't, you don't sound happy about it. <laughs> no, no, keep it going. Good. No, no, I'm happy about it. Yeah, I'm happy. We're getting a few. Yeah. Cut. We're on the water. We're out of lockdown. Yeah. You've got to be happy with that. I'm getting a bite here. 